Hey, welcome back to our shop just outside Kennesaw here in Norris, Georgia. Well, today something completely different for the channel, and uh, I'm just a regular homeowner. I've got lawnmowers and small engine equipment that needs maintenance. Well, the other day I was mowing my lawn and I broke the drive cable uh, for the self-propelled on my on my lawnmower. The Z-Bend broke. No big deal. I ordered another one. I was going to throw it on. Well, before I did that work, I tipped the mower over and I cleaned the underside. And I tipped it over so that the carburetor side was up. I think. Anyways, after I tipped it and uh, cleaned the underside, I started it up and I've got oil now blowing out through the PCV valve. I've had this problem with this mower once before when I first got it. The drain hole for the oil in the PCV positive crankcase ventilation PCV assembly had plugged. There's also a problem with these Kohlers where the reed will stick. And I thought that I would bring you along as I try to fix this. A word of caution, I'm not a small engine mechanic. I'm not licensed as a small engine mechanic. I'm just a regular guy. So what I'm going to do is fix this the way I would fix it if I was by myself. So if you have the same problem, I hope you learn something from this and maybe it helps you. But check other websites, use, use uh, manufacturer's instructions. Don't rely solely on what I'm showing you today because I'm certainly not an expert. So let's get the mower inside and take a look at what the issue is. You may recognize this is my furniture lift. Uh, there's a great YouTube channel. It's uh, Bruce Pender, P-E-N-D-E-R. And Bruce had the idea of mounting a piece of plywood on his lift, and he uses it when he works on small engines so he can bring the mower up to his level. I'm almost 60 years old. My knees are shot. This is the greatest idea that I've ever seen. So what I'll do is I get the mower up on this, and I'll pump it up and then I can work on it without squatting down. So let me see if I can get myself back up. We'll pump this motor up. This oily mess is where uh, the symptoms of our problems show up. The PCV valve, for those of you who are unfamiliar with it, Positive crankcase ventilation, basically what it does is it takes pressure that builds up in the crankcase due to both the movement of the uh, piston up and down as well as any blow-by from combustion and it vents it out through a valve and the gases go into the carburetor and are reburned. They go into this air box and they're reburned. When oil is forced up into this system and the pressure gets too high, then the oil is going to blow out along with the gases and it's going to soak your oil, your air filter and cause big problems. Now I caught this before it got to the air filter because it had blown the hose right off, which uh, is good because this is a new air filter. I try to keep my, uh, my equipment fairly well maintained. So we're going to take this off and I'm going to spend some time cleaning this. But I'm going to try to bring you in best I can without getting oil all over the camera and show you. This is, this here is the PCV breather tube and it goes from the PCV opening which is a little casting right back here. You can see it right back there. And it goes around and it hooks into the air box and it discharges behind this and then the gases get sucked into the carburetor. So this is where the oil is coming from. To fix it, we've got to take the top portion of the mower off to get into that valve. There's a, uh, a valve and a filter and a drain hole in there. And like I said, when I first got this mower, that drain hole was plugged. Of course, you know me, I bought this mower used at a yard sale for 10 bucks. It had a filthy carburetor, wouldn't run. I fixed the carburetor, I fixed the PCV valve, and it's been a great mower for me. It's on its, I believe it's third season at my house without any problems. So we've got this PCV valve issue rearing its ugly head. So I'm going to take a few minutes and clean the oil off here and uh, bring you back shortly and we'll pop the top of this motor up. By the way, the mower is a 
Toro, and it has a 6.75 torque or 149cc Kohler engine on it. So anytime you're working on the engine, that's what's important to know that it's a 149cc Kohler in case you have to order parts. All right, let's get the top cover off. Okay, this cover is held on by three 10 millimeter nuts, one, two, three, so let's get these popped off. And that assembly is off. Okay, what we have here is the brake assembly for the flywheel as well as the coil. And by looking at all the oil that's on this engine, I'm going to relieve myself of responsibility and say that this thing has been acting up for a while because there's oil all over everything. And, uh, now when I pull the, uh, the handle back, you can see how that brake releases. So let's pin that back with a pair of with a spring clamp. Get that out of our way. And I'm going to take some brake cleaner and just try to clean some of this off because it's just so filthy I can't even see what I'm doing here. Okay, brake clean and carburetor cleaner can react with seals and rubber. I'm being pretty careful not to get it on any of those, but I mean we've got the cooling fins on the jug are just covered uh, and that that's going to cause the engine to overheat. So I'm going to take a few minutes and clean this mess up and I will bring you back. Okay, we've got the uh, <laughs> we've got this mess cleaned up a little bit. This is the coil here. This this assembly, there's a magnet on the flywheel and every time the magnet passes it, it causes a spark to come. I've disconnected the spark plug from the spark plug boot so this can't start accidentally. So what we're going to do is remove the coil and remember we've got the uh, the other thing that mounts it is that stud that came out. So it goes in with a, this bolt and that stud. And I'm just going to set that right there. There's what it came out with. The next step is to remove this cup. There's a three quarter inch uh, nut in there that's got to come out and we want to be able to hold it. You can hold this with a strap wrench or sometimes guys will put a bar in here but these fins, these cooling fins are plastic. So let me get uh, set up and we'll get this off. Just like that. Okay, this fan just comes right off. That's plastic. Here's the flywheel. Now there's a couple of different ways you can take these off. You can put some pressure underneath them and hit them with a, uh, you know, like an air hammer up there. You can put a, a puller on them and tap them. You can pry underneath them and tap them. But, uh, let me get set up and we'll pop this off of here. All right, I'm feeling a little cocky, so let's try a little prying and a little air hammering. That doesn't work. I'll pull out my uh, my gear puller. Ah! What do you know about that? Something to keep in mind here: the way the the engine is timed is with this key right here. When you hit something with a your lawnmower, uh, sometimes this right here, this uh, this key will shear and it'll throw your timing off more won't run so when you put this back together you got to make sure that you get this notch in this key right here all right our trouble lies under here let's get it off I think I'm gonna make even a bigger mess of the shop and blow off some of the crap that's on the top of the mower here
here's our oil gasket here. Another spring. Our little filter sponge. And here's our little valve. Okay, we're looking right down inside the PCV assembly here. And this part here, this is where that little valve was. And this chamber here can fill up with oil. And once it gets up over this, this little lip right there, it'll run into the PCV uh, valve. I'm sorry, it will run into the PCV hose and into the carburetor. So if you look way down at the bottom, and this is nearly impossible, hopefully you can see way down on the bottom there where that little gold is. There's a little tiny hole there and that's where the oil drains back in. So oil comes out, it goes in there, and when it fills up and runs over that dam, it'll go into the PCV valve. So let me make sure that uh, that hole is clear. We'll clean this little uh, disc, make sure that's working right, reassemble this and see if we've got this problem licked. Otherwise, we may have a bigger problem. Okay, I've got these little this little kit. It's just uh, little different diameter wires for cleaning welding tips, and I'm going to run that down through. I, there's no way I can get you uh, get you in here to see, but I'm just going to run you down through that little drain hole. And make sure that's open. And we're down in there. So that should be open and we'll uh, wipe off that uh, little reed valve and we'll reassemble this. And you can see that hole right there, that's the drain hole that we opened up. And if you ever want to make sure that it's draining, just take some oil. Shoot some oil in there. And watch it run out. Okay, we've got that hole cleaned out. Stick that filter back in there. It's actually a screen, I guess. The spring. Here comes the gasket and the cover. So we're going on the assumption that the uh, the drain hole was overwhelmed by the amount of oil that was in there and had nowhere, the oil had nowhere to go but through the PCV tube. Now the other option that could be, and I'm hoping this isn't the case, is we got a blown head gasket, in which case it's producing a huge amount of pressure in the crankcase and just blowing more oil up through there than we can ever handle. If that's the case then the head's got to come off the motor and that's a different repair. Okay, we've got that back on the, the, the cap to our PVC assemblies back on. Flywheel goes back on. Remember the flywheel key is what times the motor. So we want to make sure we get that exactly where it needs to be. And let's turn our attention over here to the coil. I've put the stud in here and I put this bolt back in here loose. There's a critical measurement between the coil and the magnets and that's defined by the thickness of a business card. So what you do is you put a business card in there and you slide your or bring your coil, I'm sorry, your flywheel around so that your coil is pulled into the coil magnets and then you tighten up and you tighten your coil down Take out your business card and you're in business. Okay, we've got our flywheel in. Put our fan, our plastic fan assembly in. And really all 
that's left now is to put our cover back on. Unless I forgot something, which is always a distinct possibility with me. Put our spark plug wire back on before I forget to do that. I wonder why it won't start. And all we do is tighten those nuts down. Well, let's let this beast down and see what happens. Let's take a bet, see if it starts. we got it licked. I don't know what happened. Maybe that flapper valve wasn't seating right or maybe that hole was plugged up. But we don't have the problem we had before so I'm going to call it a win. I hope you enjoyed the video. Something a little different. Uh, just a day in the life I suppose. So anyways from our shop just outside Kennesaw here in North Georgia. Best regards. Thanks for watching. Take good care and remember it's just metal, plastic, and some oily stuff. I can help myself. Hey, thanks for sticking with me. I hope you enjoyed it with something different. We'll see you next video. Bye.